Hey everyone, today we're going to test some subwoofers today. Yes, I got my orange hoodie on. Today we're going to test some subwoofers today. And the one I'm testing is a Rockford Fosgate P3 rated at 500 watts RMS, 1000 watts peak. This is a dual 4 ohm voice coil. And next we're going to test this Logitech subwoofer. Logitech Z623 subwoofer. They claim that this thing is actually overrated. But I actually don't think they are. I think it's just the amps that are overrated. But these things really do have some really, really, really good movement too. So yeah. I have my tablet. We're gonna set this to what should we set it to? Let's do twenty hertz. Ah, that's pretty good, so nice and calming there. Let's get a good angle there too. We don't have a light on the front, so yeah. Now we do, but yeah. Might want to turn this down just a little bit. Go to 31 hertz. Oh wow, that's really shaking the ground. Right. of a transformer uh, yeah right, we got 60 Hertz Seventy, eighty, ninety. to a hundred. Right. Got that sub all done. Now just for fun, let's just do this, come on, let's just do this for fun. So holy moly. That is a lot of movement. Oh yeah 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 okay. Let's just go easy. Got the rock but done. So we're good. It's currently 7.13 p.m. right now. Got this bad boy done. Thank you so much for 250 subscribers to guys. I really thought we would we would never hit this much. But yeah, we did. Let's move on to the, uh, the Logitech <clears throat> enforcer video. Alright, got the speaker all hooked up. Let's play some frequencies through it. Wow. That's not. It's not even hot at all. Oh. <laughs> so 
sorry about the cracking, it's just the, uh, the connection to the speaker wires. Let's have a look. Let's see what frequencies we can do. Uh, we're on 16 hertz. Oh. We've got some screws on the knife plate, so we're going to run this much. We're not trying to blow it, we just see how much ex ex excursion it can do. <laughs> now let's try 50 hertz that's a bit much for it <laughs> I love this let's take it off the screws Yeah, that's pretty cool, so. Put that to the side. Big Rockford. Try and get in the way of all my speaker videos. And get out as close to the camera as possible. There we go, so let's go back down to 10 hertz. Yeah, that ain't bad. <laughs> We got 16 hertz, 32, 65, 100, 251, 523 hertz, 1047 hertz, 2093 hertz, and 4186 hertz. That's probably around the higher frequency section. We need to go to the uh, yeah. Let's just go to note selector. Let's go to sixteen hertz. Try that again one more time. do it too much I would have damaged it. So yeah. They claim this thing is around 130 watts max. I think it's probably about 150. But wow these things are so powerful. I even have the satellites to them. But they're so tiny. Little three inch ones. I got two of them right here. Two of them. I labeled Logitech as well, along with the the sub. Holy moly, this thing is a beast. I got one more speaker that we can test for today's video. One more. Then that's it. We're done. And it's this 10 inch woofer here. I got a 10 inch.
I'll probably have to put it on my lap because, yeah, it's around 450 watts. So let's go ahead and unhook this. Right, we done the rock with frost skate. Let's hook this up. This test station. I'm using a Pioneer base amp, subwoofer amp, slash base. It's like lower frequencies. All right. Nice rubber surround on that too. Beautiful. She's trying to adjust the camera here a little bit. Let's go to 16 hertz. Holy moly, that's a lot of excursion. See when I block the vent? Unblock it. Block. Unblock. See me? Yeah, coming out of it. Let's have a look underneath. Wow, that's a lot of movement out of that speaker. Wow. Look at that, guys. You get a real good shot out of that. Woo! That's amazing. Love it. Let's do... 18 hertz. Look at that. Holy moly. <laughs> I love this. Three, two hertz. Three, four. Nine hertz. Wow. It's not even that warm because of the voice coil underneath. It's got the vent right there. This is actually a response subwoofer. Holy moly, they are really good though. I got a Four inch mid range speaker here, which is rated at 27 watts RMS power, max power 55 watts. So, that, so the amp that I'm using right now could easily blow it because the amp I'm using is like around 100 watts. So I could roughly blow that. Now, I promise you this will be the last one, and this is the most high skirting speaker I've ever tested in my life and it's this Panasonic sub it's unbelievably powered it's around 250 watts max power it's this one here really good rubber surround on that too I'm surprised I'm surprised it actually doesn't have any venting on it either I'm surprised about that I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. I haven't done one of them in years. Let's. Here we go. I'm ready. Let's do it. I hope you guys are ready to see this thing pump.
So if you guys um, are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That way you'll see more videos of me and my pool. Jeepers. Look at that. And one more click. Nah, Damien, I'm not answering. Uh uh. That was like around a hundred watts. So, uh, yeah, amazing speaker though, it's amazing. And I mean, if you're trying to call me, you can call me later because I was recording a video and you... Here we go again. Sorry guys if I keep doing that because my silly friend keeps calling me. And he does this all the time, like every single day. <laughs> it gets on my nerves so bad. So uh, yeah, guys, that's about it for today. If you did enjoy, please consider like, comment, subscribe, and share. Four things you have to do. That's it. That is it. And yes, it's me from the hind seat video. It's me. Just me, ordinary Jacob. And let me sit you on top of of this speaker here. You guys are sitting on top of the speaker right now. So the speakers that we tested today are this Rockford Fosgate 12-inch woofer. My word, this thing is a beast. Got a few dents on the back on the on the back plate, but that's okay. Now I'll show you guys right now. You see those little indents there, but that's okay. It still works just as well. I'm actually planning on getting a subwoofer box for this, like a six fourth uh, bandpass box or a new double box that holds two 12 inch subs. If you guys haven't seen my JVC subwoofer, I'll just get it out of the box for you guys. I was going to sell it, but no. I just realised I could actually um do something with it. So let's get it out of the box real quick. Oh, point, point the camera down a little bit. Lights to the side. Those are still live. Let's get this out of the box. All wrapped up because I was actually going to sell it. And let's unwrap it. This is beautiful sub, isn't it? 1800 watts peak power. 300 watts RMS. The 8th of 2020. I had this for a couple of months now. It's pretty good. I did have another one. Which I can get out right now, which is like half destroyed. But I accidentally dropped it and the magnet almost fell off. 
No, that's pretty much hilarious. No. Got. I tried super gluing it back together, but it didn't really work out. Here it is here. See, the cone's all messed up. It's all cracked. It's absolutely useless, but if you look, it's actually the same magnet as this. If you look, guys. See? Same magnets and same basket design. And the uh, vent piece is gone. And surprisingly, this thing actually still works. Surprisingly. The spider is still in good condition. Now, I might as well tell you guys this now, but um. How this actually got damaged because um for some reason my dad got really mad at me and he actually ended up throwing this this cost like over 150 bucks this sub so i had to get a new one it's brand spanking new no cracks no scratches nothing perfect as it is barely been used holy moly isn't that thing a beast CWDR120, JPC Durban. CWDR120, 12 inch 30 centimeter subwoofer. JVC Durban, 1800 watts, 300 watts RMS. That's over a thousand watts there. Look at that. Much excursion there anymore. But oh well, what you gonna do about it anyway? What you gonna do about it? See the voice coil connections in there too. But who cares? I love speakers. No one's gonna stop me from loving them. Nice rubber surround, like I said in the video. And a whole bunch of my other speakers actually got destroyed along with that. And I got a 4 inch mid range speaker here. Which is actually Logitech. This actually came out of a Logitech boombox. I have two of them. Yeah. But. It's good. It is good. Yeah. On that note, I better stop this video so I can go do something else that I want to do. Probably clean up my room. Probably chuck this thing in a bin. No shame. Look at that. Right through the surround. Very, very, very thick surround too. Compared to on that unit. Anyway. So yeah. Like, comment, subscribe guys. And I will see you guys all next time. This is Jacob and Michael Vlogs. Signing out.